morning nights, it's time to stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey seniors, what's up? Day two, right? 174 days left. Welcome everyone, glad you made it to third period. If you are concerned about your schedule, like where you're supposed to be, what room number, all of that jazz, make sure when you have your schedule, take a picture of it with your phone, then you've got your schedule. I know, like sometimes maybe we lose it and tomorrow you're thinking, hey, where am I supposed to go? Well, save yourself a trip to the counseling office by taking a picture of your schedule today and then you'll know where you need to go. You just look on your phone. Have you purchased your ASB card yet? Purchasing your ASB card gives you free entrance to BHS home games and reduced prices for dances, talent shows, and away games all year. Students in co-curricular activities that receive ASB funds, such as athletics and certain clubs, are required to purchase an ASB card. So, if you are in a fall sport, you must purchase your card on or before September 30th. You can purchase your ASB card for $40 at the activities window or on the BHS website. Students who qualify for free and reduced lunch qualify for a free ASB card. Check in at the activities window for more information. Verification for those who receive an ASB card at no cost can take some time, so please don't delay on trying to go in and find out if you get a free ASB card. Okay, freshmen, you elected your president and vice president back in June. Now, there are other positions available to run for. So if you wanna be involved, here is the information. The open positions are treasurer, secretary, public relations executive, and student faculty representative. Pick up an application at the activities window Applications are due by Wednesday, September 20th, and then the elections will take place during night skills on Wednesday, September 27th. This is an opportunity for you to have a voice, so get involved, figure out what you want to run for, go apply, and start campaigning. Friday night, Varsity Football will host the Mount Douglas Rams. For faster entrance into the stadium, consider purchasing your tickets in advance and plan on arriving early. Ticket booths and gates will open at five o'clock. If you know somebody who plans to go that's not a student with an ASB, consider telling them to check out the online option to buy tickets. Remember to review the new bag policy for spectators attending home football games. Scan this QR code and visit the webpage and find more information there. You will also find information about prohibited items as well. And here are things to consider in the field access and stadium rules. All middle school and elementary school students must be accompanied by an adult. And upon exiting the stadium gates, there is no re-entry for students. So if you leave the gates, you're done. No re-entry, okay? So. Come to the game, stick around to the end of the game, then take off. All right, let's see what the cheerleaders have for us in their etiquette rules, number two. Good morning, Knights. I'm Lilia, and the cheer team is back to teach you some more game day etiquette. Do you remember rule number one? It was cheer with the cheer team, be engaged. Now let's see rule number two. Rule number two is make sure you pick up your garbage and throw it away in the designated garbage cans to keep the stands clean and safe for everybody. This is easy to do. The stadium is our house. Let's keep it clean. Come support and cheer on the night as we take on the Mount Douglas Rams from Canada. See you there. We'll have rule number three on Toronto's Bolton. Retired Seattle Seahawk offensive tackle Walter Jones played for 13 years in Seattle. He was a seven-time All-Pro and a Hall of Famer. He has a message for football players from Bremerton High School. Bert, you've been around this team long enough. You know, 
Hey, what's up, guys? Birmingham High School night. Hey, what's up, guys? I want to wish y'all a successful season. Hey, I know it's the first game of the season. I know the community loves you guys. But, hey, just remember that, it's, that the schoolwork is the most important thing. What you do on the football field is fun. But make sure that you get your academics. Uh, listen to your parents. But once again, guys, have fun. And who's ready for some football? So let's go. Have fun, guys. I look forward to seeing what y'all season going to become. But, hey, keep your head up. And just know there's one nugget I always know. You can't win the game in the first quarter, but you can let the other team know you come to play in the first quarter. So just remember that. Uh, go out there, have fun, listen to your coaches, and do what your coaches do. And I always say like this, if you mess up, don't think about it now. You get coached up uh, on film on Monday. But go out there, have fun, make plays, and, and make the fans proud. So once again, go Bermington uh, High School Knights. Uh, I love the fact that you guys are big Seahawks fans and big fans of mine. So let's get this season started and let's play some football. Let's go. Walter Jones, a message for the Knights. How cool was that? I think it's awesome. We hope that you all plan to come to the game on Friday. You know, wear your night gear, show night pride. It's going to be a great time. Be there. Did you join National Honor Society last year? Well, heads up, NHS has a meeting at 2.15 in room 405 tomorrow. Mrs. Faxon is hoping you'll be there, so start the year off by attending the NHS meeting tomorrow after school. Well, that's our show for today, because there's no birthdays today. And you know who had a birthday yesterday that we didn't mention? Mrs. Fleitas. So if she's your counselor, why don't you tell her, happy belated birthday, all right? Hey, have a great Thursday, everybody. See ya tomorrow.